Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Sarah. So today I want to talk about something that when anyone comes here to Colombia, it's kind of, I mean, obviously you're going to stand out as being a foreigner just by, I mean, how you look, <laughs> also how you dress. So I thought I would just talk about three like things that will make you stand out even more. And this is going to be very specific to the countryside in Colombia. If you have been following my channel, I live in the countryside. So my content is solely based on living in the country, not in like a big city. And don't forget to subscribe if you like my content. So some of these might kind of be general for all of Colombia, but like I said, I'm mainly focused on the countryside and just like things. So <laughs> the first thing that is gonna like help minimize your chance of looking like a foreigner or a gringa is do not wear chanclas or sandals, basically flip flops in public. They are strictly for the house. I don't know if they're like always for the house, but if they're like fancy sandals, that's okay. You can wear those out. But if they're like flip flops, like we in the US tend to wear everywhere. And if you've traveled through Asia, everyone wears flip flops everywhere. Here, my boyfriend only wears his chanclas in the house, nowhere else. They do not see the light of any form of public. And I've kind of gotten into that habit as well. I don't wear them in public either because I already stick out like a sore thumb. So anything to diminish that maybe I just didn't get here yesterday, I will happily do. <laughs> the normal look here in, I live in Antioquia, which is the re region of Paisa, is they wear a sombrero. Everyone here has the sombrero on. No one likes sun to get on their body. Typically long sleeves and a shawl and a machete. That is what, very basic, the look of a Colombian man is here in, Col in the countryside. And I too wear a sombrero, I have my boots, I have everything for when I'm working in the garden. But this is also, you will see them, people walking down the streets, this is what they're gonna be dressed like. Something else, if you are living out here as well, every time I get on the motorcycle and I just have like a tank top on, in the beginning, my boyfriend used to look at me and be like, you're gonna burn. And now he's kind of used to that. I put on sunscreen in the beginning and when we first started dating and I would get on the motorcycle with just a tank top on. I know if you're a motorcycle rider, you're probably like, yeah, Sarah, these are general rules for all over. But here, I mean, we're not going fast. We're going, it's, it's just a different thing. If we're not getting on a highway, I will just get on with this because number one, I'm always hot. It's sunny. I mean, today is very windy if you can't tell, but it's always sunny. And if I put a coat on, I'm going to be dying. But here you will notice everyone will have on long sleeves on when they're riding the motorcycle. And typically everything will be covered and you'll see like rash guards. A lot of guys wear the rash guards as well. So I try to wear a coat but I don't always because like I said, it just gets so hot sometimes that I just can't be bothered. But if you don't want to stick out like a sore thumb, throw on something long sleevey if you get on the back of a motorcycle, which is probably your one-on-one -on -one motorcycle rules. I am very aware. I am not typically a motorcycle rider in the US because I would never ride one in the US because I was a nurse and I took care of a lot of people who had accidents. All I have to say. But here, much different, much different pace of life much slower everyone rides them it's just one of the things and there and something else that first of all this is not going to be applicable in this in the city because in the city they take credit cards almost everywhere you go here don't use any big bills like if you're going to go out and buy something you need to have tons of change they love when you give them change i have actually at times exchange change for bills in stores because they'll see that I have change and they'll be like, oh, do you want to exchange? Because they're always looking for change. So paying 6,000 pesos in change here, they love it. Whereas in the US, if we pay in cash or even change, they're like, why are you giving me all this change? Like I, and we often go, sorry, I'm giving you all my change, but I don't understand why it's still money. So carry small bills, the only place that typically will take bills over 50 is going to be like your bigger stores like the Exito or the D in our town we have a D Uno a De Uno 
and that you can pay with bigger bills because it has it's like a it's a corporation they're all over Colombia we don't have an exito because this town is way too small for an exito but they will also take it but like I said if you're in the city any big city most places or major touristy areas will take your credit card but if you are in a small pueblito like where I live have small bills and don't just think oh I'm never gonna use these no yes you will I run out of my like two mil peso dos mil pesos all the time and I have a whole big bag of change I'll show you that I will always carry and have a ton on me because it's just convenient because someone's not gonna have change or it's just a, it's just how it is here I mean I don't really have an explanation so these are like three things to help you blend in when you're visiting the countryside of Colombia. Much different rules. If you want a Medellin city guide, follow somebody else because I am barely gonna talk about that because I know nothing about living in a city in Colombia. I think cities are the same all over the world. And yeah, that is really it. So follow me for more. I'm gonna start doing more tips on living here in Colombia since I've been here over a year. And I will probably have continue this series if you like it drop me a comment if you want have questions about Colombia I'll make a video on it as well as well as I respond to your comments so thank you so much and I will see you guys very soon ciao